this top v bottom clash would always be a one-sided affair. Although Carnini looked for advantage, Ridgeway had the confidence to reclaim any mistake. Early sorties by Carnini found a confident Ridgeway defence who controlled from their own goal mouth, fighting both space and pace with ease. A textbook corner from Kai Wardlow found the head of Matty Torrance for a seventh minute goal, putting Ridgeway one up. Two minutes later, Kai tested the Carnini keeper again, but this time the keeper was well aware of the plan. Pablo Aradry showed great pace, crossing to Harry Robson, who tested Shea O'Brien once more. An undealt with cross from a corner left it all too easy for Alex Mickelmeal to thunder the ball home to put Ridgeway two ahead with 20 minutes gone. Ridgeway's speed in midfield and increasing confidence left Carnini defence in tatters. Cole McGee did all the hard work, crossing to Pablo once more for number three. The second half started as the first had ended, a now unstoppable Ridgeway sigh through the Carnini team. High Robinson going round Leo Carney with this beautiful cross, although Alex Mickelmail couldn't just connect. <laughs> Shea O'Brien showed great class as Ridgeway relentlessly tested his keeping skills. Ronnie Marshall had a great run for Carnini, but his cross just fell short of Liam McKernan. <music> on the 56th minute, a free kick from Cather Henderson beats Jack Hazard to get Carnini on the score sheet. Carnini's celebrations were short lived, Ridgeway's Jordan Jenkins finding Pablo once again, who calmly slaughtered it home. Carnini now threw all to the front with a great run and a pass from Sean Elliott, found Ronnie Marshall, who once again tested Ridgeway's keeper. On the counter, Pablo Andare led off to Drew Barnes, who put it past Carnini's keeper for Ridgeway's fifth. Carnini's defence could now not deal with the sheer numbers Ridgeway were pushing forward, and a bad clearance fell to Alex Mickelmail for his second Ridgeway sixth. The seventh goal was a scrappy affair. Pablo Andare lobs the keeper, finding the head of Carnini's unfortunate Drew Barnes. Final score, 7-1. Yeah, it was a good game for us to play in tonight. Um, get our confidence back after last week. We lost a big game last week, but the boys done well today. And um, happy enough for the performance. In difficult conditions, in difficult pitch. But it was a good game for us, yeah. I think at the minute we're sitting third or fourth. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tight running for everybody in the top half of the league.